Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers. All right, this is Capricorn's November monthly for sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you, all of you subscribers and everyone who likes and shares my videos because this enables um, my all of my information to circulate, circulate to more and more individuals just like you who are needing this information. So thank you. Okay, so Capricorn, let's find out what your strongest energy is for this month that's assisting you in whatever you are needing assistance, whatever's going on this month for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for November 2021, Capricorn. Whoa, okay. Looks like, wow, you have a lot of them. All right, so let's see what they are. Capricorn, you have a lot of energy, several of them. It looks two or three, three of them. Oh, tantric journey. Okay, you have Tantric Journey, that's 42, and that breaks down to a number six, and to me that's talking about balance, energetic balance for you, Capricorns. Okay, so let me look at, or allow you to take a look at that. For as long as you see necessary to do so, this helps your subconscious open up this frequency for you. Okay. And it says the frequency of tantric journey helps us to unlock the hidden knowledge and wisdom that we intrinsically hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and contemplation through our sensual expressions, excuse me, non-expressions, experiences, maybe expressions too, since that came out with ourselves and with another. Oh, that's beautiful. What I'm getting is deep connection, deep connection with another or others. And even with yourself too. You have that deep connection first with you so that you can then have that deep connection with another and, and other individuals. So in differing variations, of course, Capricorn, but that is significant for you this month. That is a positive, that is a strong energy coming through frequency for you that's assisting you with that deeper connection with yourself and others. Okay, and then we have number 30, integration. That breaks down to a three, which I always think of creativity. I just got the word ingenuity, um, uniqueness. Okay, and we'll let you take a look at that. Increasing your self-worth is like, I just got that with the yellow color there. By being able to express a creative project, something creative, your creativity, and maybe you just represent creation, creativity yourself. I'm getting for some of you as well. And that's really opening up and expanding your self-worth. As some of you might be being known, being recognized for that creativity or for who you truly are, your creative self at your core level I'm getting. Okay. Okay, the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. Wow, that's, that's really beautiful. And I just got to, some of you, you are really coming into your own this month. You're really expressing who you are and people, you are, being seen. You are being seen. And it's very positive. 
and it's very reassuring. I just got two to those that are seeing you and comforting. So maybe some of you are, that's your energy for this month. And of course that doesn't end. That just keeps moving forward, but it's really being signified and really being intensified this month is what I'm getting. Okay. I'll look at this. And then you also have number 12 change. And that breaks down to another three. 33 is a master number. So if you don't know what that is, that is a strong indication of, of your energy this month. And so um, if that sounds right for you, check out what that um, spiritual number 33 means. Okay, change. And yes, you, that to me signifies you are going through a great change, some of you. And you could have possibly already just started that change. And I'm getting it's within yourself first and foremost. And, and, um, and then it expands out into your environment and out and you being able to see that, that in your physical, tangible world. And again, you're, you're in different um, degrees on your path, each and every one of you. So it's going to be a little different. And for some of you, change is coming. Change is coming this month. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. Okay, that is beautiful. Right. Okay, and I hope that it's light enough. The sun is just coming up, and so, and I don't have the best lighting. I've done the best I can. Oh, let me, I want to get... Another, where is my, just one moment here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. It's missing a stone. Okay. So I want to get from my soul journey deck. Let's go a little deeper and see what, what's going on with Capricorns this month. What you need to know, what you are entering into. In this stage in your lives okay okay so let's get for Capricorn Sun Moon rising north or south nodes whoa you are getting a lot of cards so a lot of information is coming through for you Capricorns Wow oh and before I forget the new moon is going to be on the 4th of November. That is in Scorpio and it is a super moon. And it is, it's 12 degrees, 40 seconds. So that to me, that's closer to um, 13 degrees. So you wanna check and see if you'd like to see how it is specifically assisting you or affecting you this month. You take a look at your planets in your natal wheel, your north and south nodes of the moon, your Chiron, and you want to check and see anything that is conjunct, opposing, or squaring the new moon in Scorpio. And so that would be, of course, anything what is conjunct would be anything else you have, any planets you have natally in Scorpio. And you want that to be within seven degrees, that will um, show the intensity, the closer it is to the same degree, which is again, 13 degrees, that will affect you more. And so Scorpio's conjunct, opposing would be any planet in Taurus, and then squaring is going to be anything in Aquarius and squaring the other way is going to be a second here 
anything in cancer. Make sure that, no, that's not, it's not cancer. It's not cancer. Cancer's trying. Just one moment here. Let me just do that again. Oh, right, right. It's going to be anything in Leo. Okay. There we go. Okay, so. All right, let me take a look here. Okay, the first thing I'm getting with this card is with all that yellow and it's really big in inside this person, you are expanding. Your self-worth is growing. It has been growing and it is, it is full or it will be becoming full for you and abundant I'm getting. I got the word abundant for you. So you are going to have an abundance of self-worth or because of what you have been doing internally, you are gaining, you have been gaining self-worth. And so it is, it is reaching a, a full, um, it's reaching to fruition is what I'm getting because look at that again with it all, it's, it, it's encompassing all of your inside here, all of, all of that. So it's really expanding and even down your arms. So you are, and of course, what I'm seeing is you're going to continue to expand that until it's enveloping you and all of you. And, and you're also, some of you are growing something or again, you're growing your, your self-worth. That's what I see. That is what I see. You're growing your self-worth. Whatever you're doing, so you keep doing that. Absolutely. That's outstandingly awesome. Yes, and, and the way this person's holding, it's you're caring for yourself. You're caring for yourself. And that's, that is um, what each and every one of us must do. We must care and nurture ourselves and who we truly are and do what is best for us in a most loving and caring way. And of course, um, uh, not, not to, um, do that in the most loving way as well with others around you. And that's what you're doing. So you're doing it in the most positive way possible. And you have been doing that. That's what I'm seeing is what this is what you have been doing because you wouldn't be this expanded if you hadn't already been doing this. And so coming into November, you, this is you and you're going to just keep expanding that. But now also what I'm seeing is, um, you are, you've done so much of this that you are creating a great change that you're going to be able to see or you are beginning to see within yourself because you are balancing, you are integrating, you are integrating yourself. And so now it's so expanded and beautiful that you're beginning to be, it's emanating from you. So others now are being able to see that. And that also, to me, that's manifesting things. And so you're going to be able, if you haven't yet, you will this month. And if you have started seeing that energy, that positive energy coming back to you, it's going to be increased. So it's either increasing this month or you will see. Yes. Okay. This card to me, see how that person is open. The hands are up and they're open. They're open to receiving. They're calm, they're balanced, they're loving. They are thankful and grateful for everything they have right now and whatever um, they are imagining to have, whether it's inner or outer, whether it's spiritual, whether it's emotional, whether it's physical, mental, you just keep picturing that. You keep manifesting that for yourself. You keep staying open, open to receiving whatever, whatever you are manifesting, whatever you are desiring, because it's coming. It is absolutely coming. 
and it is a blessing. It is a blessing for you because, and I just got blessing in disguise for some of you, for some of you, but a blessing because of whatever you have been doing personally. And for those of you who have been working through your personal work, astrologically, your personal work, me being an astrologer, of course, your personal work is your south node working through your south node of the moon so that you may receive your north nodal blessings and here is what i am seeing and again all of you are in different different areas of your path but this still applies to each and every one of you so as much work personal work that you have done you will be receiving that back to you this month and for those of you, and again, maybe you don't know what your personal work is. Well, this to me is saying that you are open now or you will be this month very soon to choosing to see what your personal work is, to bring that out of your subconscious into your conscious awareness so that you can more, so that you can so that you can once and for all take care of that and receive even more blessings that are meant for you. Specific blessings meant for you, specifically Capricorns. Because we're all different in our South Nodal workings and what houses they are in, the Zodiac sign and the house placement sign. So we are all unique in that area. And so it's unique for you as well. So if you are interested, any of you that don't know yet, you can look back. Well, first of all, if you have your natal wheel, how to, um, the symbol, the symbol, so that you know what your south node is. South node, upside down headphones. That's the symbol. That's what it looks like on your natal wheel. And then it's your north node is going to be directly across from your south node so straight across and they look like your, the north node upright headphones okay and again you have your zodiac sign and house placement sign two different parts you can look back in my viewer requests i've done now i've done 11 nodal viewer requests and you can see and and they're going to be in the beginning, I started, I combined them with the house placement and the, the zodiac sign of the specific person that was requesting. But now um, you will start to see, so you can look back and in both of those and see if any of those are correct. But then you will also see, I started, because I think it's easier for all of you, because I can't remember if I time stamped those that I did, that I combined. So I apologize if I didn't. But anyway, so the newer ones I've done, they are either just the house placement or just the zodiac sign. Okay, if I haven't done yours, you'd like me to do a video for you, a general video, I will absolutely do so. Send me an email, send me a comment, let me know what it is. And if you don't know and you want to know, send me an email and and um, give me your natal information so I can do your, your birth wheel. And I will absolutely do that for you. All my information is down in the drop down box below this video and every video that I do. Okay. And I also, if you're wanting, um, I can also do, uh, send you copies of any of the readings that I have done whether it's nodal readings or Saturn, Chiron, Pluto, whatever you like. Okay, always. That's always available. Okay, continue on Capricorns. Okay, so we're here with, again, you're staying open to receiving, receiving blessings, good news. And then let me see here. Wow. Okay. 
this card, the first thing I got is you are receiving a kiss from the divine, from the universe. For whatever you personally have been doing, again, to me, that has to do with, it's a blessing. So, and I'm also getting you are being shined upon by the universe. And it's going to be different. You will know why, each and every one of you. And I just get for some of you, it's a surprise. It's a surprise you don't know. And, and I'm also getting, for those of, the, you, of you that don't know, you don't realize how much of an impact you have and you have had on others, on the universe, on assisting humanity energetically in increasing the, the vibrations, the open-mindedness, the truth. But you are being thanked and protected, I'm getting, but you're being thanked. You are, you're being adored. You're being adored, I just, I just got. From the other realms, from the universe. However you understand that. From your past, excuse me, your past over loved ones some of you. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. They're wanting to share their love and their appreciation to you. They want you to know that because whether this is the universe or your passed down, passed over loved ones, um, wh whoever, or the angelic realm, if you believe that, um, but it's, it's energies, it's beings from another realm that are not of this earth. They are thanking you for what you have done up to this point. All that you've done, especially those that don't realize it, how much of an impact that you have on this earth, on this universe, in this world, And you will, you will, if you haven't already, receive recognition for that so that you can see. And it's going to be something tangible. Okay, that's wow. All right, you have a lot of cards. All right, so I'm just gonna put them up here. Okay, so let's, let's see how, all right. Let's go with some tarot cards. Now again, I apologize for the darker, the darkness. The light isn't quite reaching as, as much as I would like, but I hopefully you can see the cards well. All right, oops, okay, there we go. Page of Cups, yes. You have communication, incoming communication and um, some of you too, intuitive communication coming to you. So maybe some of you do know because you do have that antenna up, that um, intuitive, communicative, um, telepathic, psychic information and um, communication back and forth with with others on the other side, whoever that might be in the other realms. But yes, again, I'm getting, you're get you're being blessed. You're being blessed. And I know these are darker cards too, so that doesn't help this month. So keep doing whatever you're doing 
and stay open to receiving and receiving um, to stay open to how these blessings come to you. They will come in unique ways, unexpected ways. I'm getting for some of you. Emotional blessings too, because being the, the cup, I just was drawn to the cup and the fish and the cup is emotions. Cups, energy has to do with emotions, loving emotions, loving expression. So it's going to be a loving expression, an expression of love from someone who is, who is expressing their thanks and loving gratefulness to you in some way, shape or form. And it's going to be different for all of you. Justice. Okay. Again, I'm sorry. It's dark. Yes. You're receiving justice in a situation. You are, uh, the scales are balancing out for you. Capricorns in some way. So something wasn't fair in the past. And because you took it on the chin and you stayed in your integrity, you stayed strong and honest. You did the best you could for some of you under whatever dire circumstances that weren't, weren't fair. And I got, for some of you, it was a mis, miscommunication for some of you. Something was miscommunicated or it wasn't communicated to you either, yeah, so it wasn't communicated to you properly or it wasn't communicated to you at all. And so now it's coming around and justice is being served now on your side, whatever that is. It's going to put you at ease and it's also going to... Um, make you very secure, not just feel secure, but you will then be secure, whatever that means to you. Your security base is going to be um, strengthened, strengthened again. And it doesn't just have to be a monetary or um, a physical thing. Because again, when I always see the justice and I, the red, and specifically, this card has a lot of red. And red, to me, always signifies the root chakra, which is each and every one of our root, our base security. So again, that's going to mean different things for each and every one of you. Justice is coming. That is very, very wonderful. And I just got two. It could be a very emotional reunion. I just got for someone... Uh, that can be a special message for someone. It's a side message. Something very unexpected. But emotional, an emotional, positive surprise. It's coming for someone. But you have also I was just drawn to his crown and the way he's sitting he's very regal and um, open and honest and that's how you're coming across across <laughs> coming across <laughs> excuse me yes so um, yeah and very calm and balanced. Whatever that situation was, you kept your head about you. Maybe not perfectly, but you kept, you, you did the very best you could and um, just stuck it out. That's what I'm getting to. Okay, so let's see, what else for Capricorns? I'm also getting, I'm still getting a lot from this Justice card, um, that something was, for some of you, this isn't all of you, um, whatever this was, it was cloaked in disguise. 
something was could have even been secreted away from you, kept from you. Um, but I'm getting a very mysterious, very um, unknown, secretive energy. So whatever this was, it was, it was very much cloaked in mystery and the unknown. And um, it, it, it left some of you very puzzled or whoever this message is for, it left you very puzzled and in the dark about something. And of course, unhappy, unhappy about the circumstances or about um, whatever that was. But you didn't, you didn't, you, you kept your wits about you, I'm still getting. Um, you didn't get, you didn't allow your emotions to go flying, flying off the handle in any direction, which is very good, very good. And that is what kept you, um, you that's how you were able to keep your head on straight or as straight as you possibly could. And that assisted you. And Capricorns, that's, that's very good because that's your strength anyway is being able to stay level-headed and and factual and in this case whatever it is that was the right thing to do that was absolutely the right thing to do but now now um open your emotions open yourself up to receive and um with no fear i'm getting no fear for some of you if, if you have that this will be cleared up I'm getting from the page of cups for those of you that don't have an answer or whatever that was that came in or gave you injustice in the first place if you haven't received that yet it is coming in the information the communication from another I'm getting it's a person that's coming back okay let's see yeah wow yeah you're gaining more information in a situation or with that specific situation where you were unjust, where it was unbalanced for you. Um, so, yeah, this could. And maybe some of you are researching something or this this injustice led you to research something and gain more knowledge for yourself because you did not, because of not understanding and it being so mysterious and in the dark, that got you to, to question, which was very good because the questioning led you to searching for the truth, which you could not have, have received. You could have not stumbled upon if you hadn't had that desire so that is a that's maybe that's what was a blessing in disguise or it will be a blessing in disguise if it hasn't happened yet but yes this is very important so yeah again that just to me that just confirms what i what we know already uh, and if you don't know that your experiences, each and every one of our experiences in our lives, it is a chance. It is an opportunity for us to see there is something for us to gain each and every time. And so, and this is speaking loudly to me. This is why you had that injustice, Capricorns. And so those of you that, that haven't seen that yet, there is something for you to gain out of that. There is something. And you will, if you haven't already. It's going to make you wiser, stronger, more benevolent, I'm getting for some of you. More compassionate, I'm getting for some of you. Where you, you were lacking in that area. So having to do with... In, integration balancing your energies that's was helping you to do that or it has helped you to do that because you gained information again i'm just getting you researched or information came to you or will be coming to you but that's going to that is going to shed light on everything on everything Maybe some of you will be receiving 
information, information coming from someone. So be open, again, I'm, I'm getting be open to, to how it could, to how you, don't put a stipulation on, don't be close-minded about how it's coming to you, how this information will come to you. So as best you can, no judging. Don't judge any way, specific way that it might be coming. Because it's going to be coming in the way that is best for you to understand, best for everyone involved if there, if there are others involved. I just got two. Just stay open. Just stay open. And then, again, this is a gift. This is a gift for you. A loving gift. Okay, what else? For Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising. What? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. You have either gained strength, gained courage through through whatever that was that was made you out of balance and that was un, unfair to you, whatever that situation was, whatever that experience was, you are stronger for it. You are more courageous. You are more independent. You are more loving. Getting to see this emotional cups, loving. And because of that, a great change is coming to you. Great, positive change for you, for the better, for the better. And again, for those of you, because I'm, a lot of you know what this is already, and this has already happened, but for some of you, it hasn't completed yet, and you don't know, and this change, or the change that has taken place already, you don't understand it, and you're, you're, you don't quite see, um, like I said in the beginning, um, blessing in disguise, blessing in disguise. So if you don't see whatever this big change is that has already taken place for some of you, a few of you, you will, you will. And it's going to make all the difference, all the difference. Increasing your self-worth even more. Again, stay open. I just keep getting. Stay open to receiving, being th thankful and grateful for whatever you can Whatever you can be thankful and grateful right now in this moment, whatever that is for you, because something very, very positive is coming. You are being blessed with something very, very positive. It's a cup, and it has to do with emotional stability is one thing that I'm getting. This information, this justice, Again, it strengthens you inside. It increases this, your self-worth, your confidence, who you truly are. I just got to, for some of you, your destiny. Your destiny. And where you are headed. That's your destiny, your purpose. And you might have Leo in your chart. You don't have to. I just got two. Some of you might have Virgo in your chart, but you don't have to. And water, but you don't have to. <laughs> okay. So let me see. Okay, we're still good with the time. This is a little different. So I am getting, I need to ask and see if there are any more cards that, that are needing to come out for you, Capricorns. Any more of these cards for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon? Okay. What I, okay, this is the Four of Swords, and what I'm getting from that, first and foremost, is 
is a lot of you have been contemplating. You have been in that contemplation mode, that um, doing your best to stay peaceful, stay balanced, stay calm, so that you can receive. You are doing that, so keep doing that, those of you that are doing that. And those of you that are having a little bit of trouble, uh, st do your best, do your best to stay calm. And those of you that your in intuition, your intuition, your um, those intuitive abilities are going to assist you now, even if you don't believe that Capricorns, they are. So listen, and by doing your best to be as peaceful and in that, um, and I'm meaning inside peaceful state as, as much as you possibly can. And that positive, thankful state is how you will, you will be. And that's what will enable you to receive those intuitive promptings for yourself. And again, I was drawn back to, um, 33, that master number 33 that has something to do with your intuition, that has something to do with your creativity and your intuition are connected. For some of you, especially. So if you don't know what that master number is, you might want to check that out. And some of you, just a few of you, um, are still not, you're having a hard time believing your intuition, believing that, that unseen realm. And so that's, just a second, let me just, or maybe you're having a hard time being in that balanced state so that you can receive that information because they're also trying to send you information, some of you specifically, and they're not able to get through. So you will know, those of you that are having this trouble, you're going to know, you're going to know. And if you'd like me, this is a new thing. This is only this is only the second time that it's come up. Um, and maybe if you have Scorpio in your chart, also because it came up with for Scorpio, you might want to check out first of all if you have your rising sign or your moon sign or even either one of your nodes, Scorpio. You might want to check out my monthly that I just did yesterday. I just put that out yesterday. That was the, the first. Um, reading I did for November. It's going to, that's, that's important for you. Those of you that have any of those, again, because of the new moon in Scorpio, I'm getting two. So I definitely check out that reading and see how that is for you. And, um, and, and for those of you that do, I made a mistake. It's Taurus is the, the full moon on the 19th, not Gemini. I accidentally said Gemini in, Scor in the Scorpio reading. So I apologize for that. But all the rest is correct. It's 19 degrees and it's on the 27th. Or 19 degrees. It's on the 19th and it's 27 degrees. That full moon in Taurus. Okay. But anyway, again, so, but those of you that don't have any Scorpio. I lost my train of thought. I apologize. Oh, that want, whether you have Scorpio or not. But if this sounds right to you and you would like me and you're still struggling with this balancing and you'd like me to um, do a, a just another reading specifically for you to see what's going on or what you might, what other things you might need to know specifically because you're having a hard time um, connecting to the, the other, your intuition or whatever it might be. Leave me a comment, send me an email, whatever you'd like to do. But the reason why I said that about Scorpio reading is because that also, I 